every day I go to the Barrel Trauma and the Project Zomboid workshop to check on what's the most popular items in that past week and that I can subscribe to them and you know test them out and see if I like them. As of February 25th, this mod in particular came up and this one is a real treat I'm telling you. This mod will completely change on how you play Barrow Drama forever as long as you're subscribed to it of course. And here's why. Now I have already lowered the volume enough for you guys so you don't blare your eardrums out like I did the first time watching this video. Matter of a fact, I sent my chips flying across the room. Anyway, let's get to it. Yeah, now you can see why. After you guys saw the dev team's video on how the sonar works with a sonar suit on and as well without, which really hurts your ears by the way, but don't worry, as you can see in a screenshot here, they have actually lowered the volume so it's not as loud, which is fantastic, my dyad. However, I wanted to test things myself to make sure I wasn't being, what would that word be, duped? So anyway, I want to be able to test it with a beacon station. And what would happen if our hull gets breached? All right, let's do this. Oh my god. Hello, how did I... Ow, my ears. I fucking dropped into the ballast tank. That actually hurts. What? I dropped it to the ballast tank and it nearly killed me. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh shit. I didn't know that was a thing. What? What do you mean it fucking hurts you in the ballast tank? What? I don't know, I took a bunch of damage and my eyes are- or not my eyes, my ears are- are- what are you calling? Ringing right now, give me a second. I just dropped into the ballast tank, what are you talking about? It was full, it was full. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you hear that now? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, cool. So let me see if I can dock on this fucking thing. Alright. Oh my god! Oh, we've, we're, we're moving even so farther down from you. Can you fucking turn off that fucking sonar? You're gonna fucking kill me. I tried to. What do I do? Turn it off. I'm dead. The ship's moving. I'm sorry. Oh my hey guys. The developer has made a specialized kind of suit called the. You know what? I'm gonna call it the A suit because I don't think I could pronounce that correctly. Now. This will protect you up to 6,000 meters. You need a regular diving suit, a t titanium aluminum alloy, six rubber. This is all easily to get within maybe a few missions of the game. Now, it's not completely 100% proof to damage, but it will take away a lot. And I mean a lot, and I'll show you now. So, obviously, if I wasn't wearing a suit, I'd be dead now. So, there's small, tiny pingling, pinging in your ears. It's not as bad, but it's pretty safe. Now, as it can say, 
Offers minor protection against damage and can withstand pressures up to 6,000 meters. So that is almost in game. Uh, that is almost in game. Uh, minus 40% sonar damage, 30% beacon sonar, minus 85 acoustic trauma, vibration, minus 50%. Minus 25 to blunt force lacerations bleeding, minus 10 to gunshot bites and burns, but minus 50 to husk infections. Now, I say this is pretty good because, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now, don't take me on a word here, but if I remember correctly, the developer said he was going to make a pad, some type of pad for the, for the captain so he can turn off and off. On the sonar at will I'm not sure if he plans on doing that or if that's already implemented I if he has I have not found it yet um, he recently just pushed out an update that is a config file now I can't access it through the editor here but all you would be doing is you would be in a game you'd hit escape and it'll be down here at the bottom I'll send you a screenshot and it should be here now now there's a bunch of different volumes here that you can adjust and tuned to your liking and yeah I mean that's pretty much it hey guys I'm in the sub editor right now and I have went over an extensive part of the real sonar mod Excuse me. now I need to cover the actual medical aspects to the mod which we're gonna do that right now now I'm not gonna show every affliction because that would take long time in doing but believe me there is a lot if i remember correctly there's 12. now i'm gonna go ahead and drop down here sacrifice my ears now as you can see i am Almost on the brink of death here, so. And, and coughing up blood. What do I need to do? You go get this mana extract, make sure it's mana extract, or mana extract, and then smart graph. I'm gonna repair the acoustic trauma with the sun, uh, the smart graphs. That'll fix our ears. Then we're gonna fix the ruptured lungs with the and an extract that's going to help us up fix our ruptured lung apply that to my chest as well now this will heal me up pretty pretty well um there's one thing that you do not need to do do not use cortisone uh, cortisoid did whatever on the on any of these afflictions here the only time that you need this is for brain hemorrhaging. Only apply it to the brain. Otherwise, it will hurt you. Um, but it will stop the bleeding. So, now I'm going to show you what happens to someone who does not have a brain hemorrhaging. And I inject it straight into their brain. <coughs> Here we go. So, I'm going to take Jiri for your sacrifice. Cost 2 cortisoid and did whatever into her I'm gonna watch her he has no brain now from what I've seen before is that it cast a, a micro explosion to um, people that are nearby within maybe a range of three centimeters so if I'm like right here to him they blow up and it blows up it'll cause damage to me and it'll potentially kill me um, but it is very 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 lethal um, there are some other afflictions known as I can't remember the name oh there you go there's one of them right there your legs are swollen and aching so you walk a lot slower and there's one that has to deal with your eyes will give you big flashes across the screen um, it'll look like you're hallucinating it's not like an actual hallucinating but there'll be bright flashes and uh, whatnot so yeah this is the medical aspect there are plenty of other afflictions that I could add but I figure 
you guys can find that out for yourself. Hey guys, Lance here. I never really cared for an outro, but I wanted to go over this mod because Barotrauma is one of my favorite games out there, and I really think the developers did a really good job on this, and it's definitely going to change my gameplay forever. So, I'm not going to add a pros and cons on this. You guys, you can leave that up to yourselves if you want to. Um, but overall, I think it's a really great addition to the game, and it will definitely change on how you play the game all the way to the end of the campaign. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.